my. I'm part of the Artemis team training for our program to return to the moon. Better feel in like that without having all that. I have a better feel in my environment. I always like being in the spacesuit, but you have to be very thoughtful because you're in a pressurized environment and for every single motion you make, you expend a lot of effort. Today, I'm in the neutral buoyancy lab. The neutral buoyancy lab is the largest swimming pool in North America. It contains a full-size replica of the space station. And this is where all astronauts start to train for spacewalks. Johnny, you didn't see any threads inside of there. I do. It's a little crooked. Copy. Let's go first. Okay. Spacewalks are the riskiest thing that we do and really the most challenging thing that we do. Outside in the vacuum of space. It's hard to describe those moments. And you're on your way. Copy and I come out and I'm holding on to a railing. And it was, what am I doing? <laughs> this is crazy. My mom would be telling me to get down off of there. You never forget that first moment. I looked down and I saw my feet dangling there and then there's nothing but blackness between your feet and the earth spinning below. I liken it to if you've ever been on the top of a cliff or at the top of a high building. Then you come just over the tip where you're looking down maybe a thousand feet and then perform brain surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Got some problems here. Gonna need some help to get this bag down. It's mentally challenging and it requires a lot of teamwork. The bolt itself is in the way. Got it. And you have a finite amount of resources, a finite amount of battery, a finite amount of air. Space is challenging, period. And we have had humans safely in low Earth orbit for over 21 years on the International Space Station. But now we want to go beyond that. 